What's up guys, this is Justin here and today I'm going to talk to you about what my plan is to help the Philippines become a more rich and a more successful country in financial terms. So I was thinking about this on the grab right here. I'm actually at the Podium Mall and it looks so beautiful. The Christmas lights are coming out as uh, Philippines is incredible at decorating and uh, such a spectacle, very beautiful. But uh, yeah, anyway, so part one of this video, I actually want to discuss with you some of the skills and skill sets I had developed uh, being born and raised in the United States and becoming an entrepreneur, a business owner, a real estate investor. And I'd like to share with you uh, some things that I've shared with a lot of the people that I've coached and mentored over the years that can really help you if you are, are a Filipino or a Filipina man or a woman who lives in Manila or outside of Manila. If you have an internet connection and you have a phone or a laptop of some sort, uh, some device to connect you to Google and YouTube, I can actually give you some extremely good advice to help you uh, definitely scale the amount of income that you can make rather than just doing the traditional jobs like helping out with transportation or being in the hospitality industry or the retail industry or working as a contractor like building stuff or as a repairman or a, a service uh, servicing certain things like internet etc so rather than just having some of those jobs as a local Filipino man or woman here in this country here are some great ideas for you that you can develop in your free time you just spend maybe one hour a day developing these type of skills so here are the skills that I have that have allowed me to become very successful in financial terms that you can absolutely pick up and here's why because you most Filipinos and Filipinas, men and women, can actually understand the English language pretty well since it's taught pretty widespread here in the Philippines. That gives you a huge advantage to be able to learn a lot of the skills and skill sets that Americans have, which enable those Americans to make a lot more money. And I live in the Philippines and I'm able to make the same amount of money in the Philippines that I made in the United States. And if you live here in the Philippines, there's no reason why you can't make a similar amount of income that I'm making if you had my skills. So here's the skills that I actually have that I would like to teach you about today that you can start developing with just one hour a day or less when you have that free time. Firstly, I can speak the English language. I can write it and I can read it very well. I know how to do programming. I can do HTML. I can do CSS. I can do a little bit of PHP. I can do a little bit of JavaScript. I can also do some of the other languages to, agree, to, to a degree like C++, etc. One of the most highest paying skills right now in the United States that you can absolutely learn is and this also applies to anybody in the world this is not just philippines this is worldwide but my emphasis and focus for this video of course is the philippines since i'm living here and i like to give back and i like to contribute and i like to help so the first thing is programming and coding you can self-teach yourself programming and coding because you speak english and the english alphabet is what is used of course when you learn how to write a coding language so how much money can you make if you learn the skill of programming and coding it's a very good question in the United States, the salaries range anywhere from $50,000 US dollars per year all the way up to $110,000 US per year. And they go up even higher from there depending on the company that you work for if you're employed. So it's quite a bit of money. In pesos, I can put that in the subtitles what that would be. If you were to pick up that skill living here in the Philippines, my recommendation is you pick up a second skill, which is how to market yourself once you, once you know how to code and program, how to market yourself effectively. So when you have those two skills, the skill itself and how to do something, and then the second skill, how to get someone to pay you for your services and for your skills, we'll get into that part in a moment. The next skill I have is bookkeeping and accounting. I understand how to keep track of revenue and how to keep track of expenses. So basically all bookkeeping is, is keeping track of cash coming into a business and the cash leaving the business. And then how to categorize those expenses. And in some certain cases, when you're categorizing the expenses, there are something called pro rates where a certain percentage of an expense you can write off on your taxes, which means it goes against your profits in order to save you money on taxes. And the same with income, you can categorize the income as well, the types of income and how that type of income is actually taxed. So that skill is very, very useful and foreigners find that skill very, very useful as well. So if you're basically able to offer that skill or service to other people in other countries and even locally, you can also stand to make a lot of money from that skill set. The next skill that I've learned and developed is video editing. And this is something that you can also definitely learn on your free time and you can make a good amount of money from it. And just to rewind a little bit, how much money can you potentially earn as a bookkeeper or an accountant? Well. On the low side, you can make about $10 US per hour, but that's pretty good for Philippines. On the higher side, you can make up 15, up to $25 per hour with something like this. So the next skill that I have that I would highly encourage you to also develop for yourself is video editing and graphic design. These two skills kind of go hand in hand with one another. You can learn them via YouTube instructional videos and tutorials rather quickly. 
The software that I chose to learn is Photoshop. And I, uh, because I prefer Apple products, I have a MacBook and an iMac. I use iMovie, which is a free software that comes with, uh, with a Mac. I also use Final Cut, which is about $299. And it's not necessary to learn the skill of video editing. But there are a lot of other softwares out there that work with the Windows for the much cheaper uh, laptops and computers. And there's a lot of softwares out there that I can also list in the subtitles that are significantly cheaper that you can start to learn video editing on. So just to give you a few tips, there's A-roll footage, B-roll footage, and then there's transitions. Those are the top three things to know with video editing. A-roll is what you're watching right now. B-roll is this. It's where I show you, you show something else where it's basically not a subject in the frame and you're just kind of looking at like a landscape or something. And then transitions where, you know, for example, you open a door and then you walk through the door and then immediately you're like in a totally different room or something like that. That's an example of a transition, uh, but there are many more examples as well. So with graphic design, this is something, video editing and graphic design can pay anywhere on the low side for 10 US dollars per hour, all the way up to $50 US per hour, sometimes higher, depending upon who is paying you for your services, whether you're employed with a company or whether you are independent as a contractor and you're just doing freelance work uh, kind of on the side. So those skills can be highly valuable to you because they can earn you a way above average income and salary here in the Philippines, whether you're working for a company here or whether you're working for a company that is abroad. Okay, or whether you have actually, you're an independent contractor. So how to really maximize these skills is to learn marketing, how to market yourself. And all that basically means is where do you tell people what you can do and what you can offer and what do you say and how do you word it and how do you charge uh, for your services? Well, just to quickly get you started, one of the first places you can do it are Facebook Marketplace, Upwork.com. Fiverr.com with two R's. Those are places where you can set up a profile and you can pay for marketing or try to get free eyeballs by leaving your ads basically there in order to attract people who are willing to pay you for your services. And in the beginning, a, a smart strategy is to charge less for your services in order to get reviews and testimonials for your services and for yourself if you're gonna do this as an independent contractor. Once you have those reviews and you have those testimonials, you look like a trustworthy person, you can incrementally start to charge more for your services. And when you do this, your income can really, really get, can climb like a ladder very, very fast. A better way to do this is to use free social media tools like TikTok and YouTube, for example, and Instagram. I don't really recommend Facebook as much anymore as the first three to basically make videos to tell people who you are, what you do, and the solutions that you have to offer. And basically all you have to do is when you're uploading those videos, you put in the tags and in the title and in the description of like the video, for example, words that are automatic are already being searched, like how to solve this problem. That would basically be the name of the title of the video and then the picture of the video for the thumbnail, for example, would just be something that looks interesting that would make someone want to click, okay? Like it can be really basic as well. Uh, it doesn't have to be super, super fancy, but that's why graphic design skills come in hand because all these skills are complementary. If you know how to edit videos, if you know how to do graphic design, you can make the photo perfect, you can make the video nice, you can then market yourself so well when you have those skills. You can pick up that skill of marketing in and of itself because not only that, you can market for other people for money. And you can make a lot of money making videos for other people or making thumbnails for other people or when you do it for yourself for whatever else you're marketing for. Like if you're a bookkeeper or an accountant or if you wanna teach the English language to somebody or if you have a programming service or a coding service where you wanna do website uh, development, for example, these things pay a lot of money in the United States and you don't have to live in the United States to make a lot of money from these things. A lot of the Westerners like myself who come from the United States to the Philippines, why are we able to stay here and make a lot of money and still live in this country? It's because we work as independent contractors or we have our own business, which is almost the same thing, but a little bit different, where we go out there and we market ourselves, and we let everyone on the internet know, hey, this is who I am, these are the services I offer and here's what my prices are. Or we, we have like a calendar link, which basically tells people sign up here, we'll have a consultation. And then if a person wants our services, they can pay us for that. That's exactly how my business has been operating the last 12 years. And what's interesting is, I mean, I obviously am able to make and save a lot more money when I live in the Philippines. So I'm very happy to contribute to the Philippines economy. I'm very happy to uh, pay rent here, uh, buy foods here, use the transportation services here. And uh, yeah, so part two of this video, how to start developing these skills. Well, step one is you have to create like a vision or a sentence of what your goal is so you can stay focused and determined and you have to schedule it in your calendar and commit to doing it. It's that simple. So for example, like one example could be, I will study coding and programming one hour a day for the purpose of increasing my monthly net income to 1000 US dollars per month. And I have 12 months to get to this goal. You can create a timeline with one or one or two hours a day contribution. And then you write right under that, I would go to YouTube and I will watch other people who teach this subject 
and I will pick it up. I will learn the skill and then I will learn the second skill, which is how to market myself so how I can get customers and get work so I can use the skill to make a lot more money to have a better quality of life. It's also worth noting that if you can combine the skills of having a skill set like marketing, or I'm sorry, having a skill set like programming or coding or another skill set like bookkeeping or accounting, and then you pick up the skill of marketing for the purpose of marketing yourself to be able to sell your bookkeeping services or sell your programming or coding services. The irony, the, the cool thing is you can also sell your marketing services and you can market for other people on TikTok and YouTube as well. So if you become, if you learn the second skill of marketing, which is just basically just how to get attention, how to get interest, how to get desire, how to get action, right? It's that simple. That's what marketing is. It's a, that four step process that is very, very simple. And once you practice, it's actually quite easy to do. One major opportunity that I think is available in Manila that I have personally noticed is a lot more foreigners. If a lot more foreigners lived in Manila, for example, or in the Philippines as a whole, they have a lot more money to bring with them oftentimes, and they can spend a lot of money here on transportation, on foods, on hospitality, on all, all different types of services from dentists to doctors to barber shops. Anyways, we, we can come here and we can contribute to the economy is the same way you would if you went to our country and then you started spending money on all those services as well. So it's just, you contribute based off of where you live, right? One of the things I've thought of repeatedly is two things. Okay, two things. The first thing is, the first step is, that we discussed early in this video is developing the skills that you can offer and then the second secondary skill of marketing those skills so that you can make money. Once you're making more money, the next best thing to do is invest that money into something like a, a condominium or a house. Because when you have a, a mortgage, when you're paying off a house or a condominium, eventually you'll have it paid off, okay? Or even if you don't ever pay it off, even after if you're paying it for 10, 15, 20 years, it can go up in value through appreciation, which is huge and super important. You can sell that at a large, you can eventually sell it at a large gain or profit. When you rent, you pretty much don't get anything out of renting, except for maybe a, a tax write-off from renting. But when you own, if you know you're gonna be somewhere for a long time, that's a really good thing to do. So that's the only time you wanna buy a condominium or a house, is basically if you know you're gonna be in that area for a long time, or if you're comfortable with the idea of renting that place, if you know that you're going to be within the area to some degree, or you're comfortable renting it remotely. So part two of this conversation goes like this. I've seen tremendous opportunities for the uh, accommodations and transportation in uh, parts of Manila. Manila is one of the most densely populated um, cities in the world. I think it might actually be the, the most densely populated, which is good. That means there's a lot of opportunity there for individuals to solve some problems when it comes to transportation, when it comes to accommodation. So better accommodations and better transportations are huge. If you want to really, really, really do a, make a lot of money as a person who buys condominiums or flips condominiums, or houses or parts around Manila, or let's just call it Metro Manila, uh, the capital, and then out, expanding outwardly. One thing I would do if I was gonna buy condos and then rent those out, Airbnb is a really good option because you can charge a lot more for short stays. And if a foreigner comes from another country and you have an Airbnb set up, so there's fast Wi-Fi, there's good air conditioning, there's a balcony, uh, maybe there's some other small renovations in there. And uh, there's instructions on how to get to the place with Google Maps and it's very, very crystal clear, and you're responsive and you solve any problems that you might not have thought of, and you solve a bunch of problems in advance so that the foreigner or the person, your customer, or your guest, has pretty much no problems at all. If you can deliver like a five-star experience like that for accommodations, and if you can even arrange a transportation for the person coming into Manila, you can stand to do extremely, extremely, extremely well because this is something you can pivot and, and graduate to once you do the first bits of advice in this video. Once you collect the skills, one of those skills that I, I listed earlier, for example, and then uh, marketing yourself, making a lot more money, then you can buy condos, rent them out on Airbnb, for example. If you had like a, a really nice TV, a really nice mattress, a balcony, good air conditioning, good Wi-Fi, nice kitchenware, well thought out layouts, and you can just basically scale this process, you'll be able to make significantly more than what your monthly payment is on that condo and turn it into a very large cash flow. In fact, this is what the rich of the rich of the rich do in every country, not just the Philippines. So how do people get rich in any country? They work on their skills and they work on marketing their skills. And then they invest the money they make in things like condos and then they rent those out for large gains of profits. And that's how people become extremely, extremely, extremely rich in the United States. That's how individuals like yourself watching this in the Philippines, if you were born in the Philippines, if you have the knowledge and the skills and the motivation to use the knowledge and the skills and put it into action, your monthly income can go from 15 to 20 to 25,000 pesos a month or 30,000 pesos a month or whatever you're earning all the way up to 100,000, 150,000, 200,000, a million pesos a month. I'm serious. It's possible. It's 100% possible. So if you're, 
I know that like in 80%, I'm just guessing, I'm gonna guess right now, I'll say 80% of the world works seven days a week or at least six days a week, pretty much all day, just to make ends meet, just to live paycheck to paycheck. And it's, the tr the, it's often true in the United States as well. It's what the United, States, the United States is supposed to be one of the best countries in the world to live, right? Most people who live in the United States, I'd say probably 80%, work tirelessly they work some of them have two jobs some of them have three jobs yeah just to provide for their kids and i know of course in filipino culture me living in the philippines the last five months i've looked around i've noticed i've observed the individuals who work here they're working non-stop five days six days seven days a week eight to twelve hours a day just working non-stop and they're probably saving very little so how to make more money is by developing these skills marketing those marketing yourself to get work in the form of customers or clients or marketing yourself to get a really high paying job from a different country uh, where you can work remotely. And once you're making a lot more money, saving it, investing it into other things like real estate, really good option, and renting those places out so they can go up in value. And when you rent those places out, I'm telling you right now, here's exactly what I would do. I would cater, me personally, I would make my target market for real estate rentals, people who have super high standards and have money, who have money already. And this is what I would do. I would look at the DMCI builds in Manila. They have the balconies and the nice, uh, like kind of open concepts in, uh, throughout the building. I would buy like one or two bedroom units with balconies and some of the DMCI builds. And then uh, I would put really nice stuff in there, like an LG OLED TV. I would have like a queen size mattress. I would consider getting something like really higher end, like one of those higher end name brands for the mattress. So that the person that can get a really good night of sleep, they have a super nice TV, they would have super fast Wi-Fi. I would probably make the floor tiling like some type of black tile or something like that. I would switch up the paint in there. I'd put a lot of thought into it and I would create a system and I would just replicate that system. So once I knew what the paint color, the flooring and all that stuff was supposed to be, I would, I would, I would make it work with one condo in one type of place in one location like Makati or Rockwell or BGC. And once I had proof that my ideas worked, I would just duplicate it over and over and over again and keep buying more. And this is how you become super, super, super successful in financial terms and rich. And you can get started doing this all with 30 minutes a day, one hour a day. You make incremental steps, no matter what country you're in, if you have the time and the motivation and the energy to learn and learn these new skills and market yourself, you can make more money in a short period of time, five years, you know, three years, two years, one year, six months, you can crunch these new skills that you're learning into these small pockets of time. And then the more skills you have, you can start to stack these skills on top of each other. That way you can get to a point where you have the ability to invest and then run out those places. And then your net worth just goes like this without you even doing anything, putting in extra inputs, I mean. So this is a, what I told you and I shared with you today is literally exactly what I did in the United States to become a seven figure earner where I've captured seven figures worth of income a very short period of time. And I did that in the United States and I just came to the Philippines for many reasons and I'll make a separate video why I came here specifically, but you can take all of this information I've given you and don't take it with a grain of salt. I highly recommend that you use it and schedule it and do your best to commit to it because you have a way higher quality of life and then if a lot of people here in this country did these things and follow this advice, and you don't just have to become a programmer or a bookkeeper or a video editor or a graphic designer or a marketer or something like that. Those are just five really terrific things, really five to really terrific jobs that pay extremely, extremely well in the United States. That's why I gave you those five because they're a really good place to start and you can do those while still living in Manila or anywhere in the Philippines as long as you have an internet connection and a device, okay? Preferably a laptop or a computer. I mean, you can still get a lot done from your phone, it's true. My girlfriend literally runs the majority of her TikTok business on her phone and it's working out pretty well. But she also has a laptop to do other stuff like research, so you don't need expensive tools either. You don't need the expensive tools. You just need to have something that's reliable and functional. And uh, obviously it's nice when things move faster and are smoother, but with the information I gave you today, I think you can definitely start to really drastically change your life. And if, if one out of five people, 20% of the people watching this video start taking action and doing this, watch what happens to the Philippines. If people who live here already start developing these skill sets and start using these skill sets and offering these skill sets to other people, other, other people from rich countries are doing those things. They're doing those things I've told you. Not just those five things, but those are the top five things you can do that are probably best for you to do right now. Watch what happens. A lot more people that are successful will come here and everyone who lives in this country can just basically start to make more money. And it doesn't matter as long as you are, you have the time and energy and the, 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 the connection to the internet and uh, the devices, there's no reason why you can't get started as long as you have those things. And then, then at that point, it's just the willingness and some, it's just your motivation level at that point. How much, how badly do you want it? 
and you don't have to pay for it. All the information is free. It's all on YouTube. So you don't have to pay for anything. It's free. It's free. You just have to put in the time. And this is what I call low hanging fruit. It's stuff anybody can do. I've done all of it. So I'm working testament that it works and uh, we all have the same amount of time. So that's one resource that is equal. The other things that are not equal, we won't get into those, but there are many. But the one thing we have is time. So cool. This has been Justin Spencer. I hope you got a lot of value out of this video. If you did, please hit the like button if you liked it. And please subscribe and hit the notifications bell so I can continue to provide you with valuable videos now and in the future. Thank you so much. Bye for now.